Hi, and welcome to our last Yarara TV for this term. My name is Darius Kidd. And my name is Joseph Braden. This year we welcome our new principal to Yarra College. Year 12 student Marika Jack catch up with Mr. Chris England. Let's take a look. Hi, my name is Marika Jack and I'm here with our new principal. Would you like to introduce yourself? Thank you, Marika. My name is uh, Christopher England and um, I've been principal for 20 years. Came from um, Townsville Shalom Christian College and then before that um, came from New Zealand where I was, um, my last school was in primarily indigenous school, Māori school in, in the middle of the Northern Ireland. Before that it was a variety of schools that I taught in and, and le been leader in. Would you like to say more about yourself and what you do here at Jarrah College? What do I do here? I, um, I'm responsible for ensuring that, that all of the children uh, receive a good education, that they are kept safe, that they are loved and cared for in a, in a nice and respectful way and they return to their families and their community um, more, f more complete, more full of knowledge, more prepared for life than when they arrived. How do I do that? Well, I do that by ensuring that we have good procedures in place, that's processes of doing things. The staff that we have here are well trained, ensuring that I meet all the obligations to the Northern Territory Government and to the Fink River Mission who is responsible overall for the school and, and for me. I came with my wife Debbie and um, she has, has six children, so I have six stepchildren, all wonderful people, and I have three um, children of my own. And they, and they live in the, in the city of Christchurch, New Zealand. They've all grown up, they're all adults now, and two of them have um, children of their own, so I have a grandfather as well. And um, my wife Debbie, she is a midwife, and uh, she um, has done that for many years, and uh, uh, she is very good at her job as well. What are some of the things you are looking forward to as a person and as a principal here at Girard. Well, I've already met some wonderful staff, wonderful students, you included, and I'm looking forward to developing uh, a closer relationship with more staff and more students. I'm looking forward to knowing, because I know it happens, that the students that have come in at the beginning of the year are more complete and more educated and and, um, more rounded, more prepared for life at the end of the year and that is a wonderful thing to know that. I'm looking forward in, in a personal sense to getting closer to God, Jesus Christ and doing what he wants and being more sensitive to that and by being here I, I'm able to do that. It's really good, thank you. <clears throat> Thank you for your time. We are really looking forward to many years of your leadership. It's been my pleasure to be here. It is a privilege to be able to be here, to walk on this land, to, to uh, share the lives of the wonderful young men and women at Yarara. And I am also looking forward to a great time here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, do you want to help me with my language and say bye? Yes. Spariwa. Bariwa. 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 <laughs> Few weeks ago, some of us went to see Miss Susan at the Tourism Central Australia Information Centre in the Todd Mall. We're going to the Information Tourist Centre. When we arrived, we asked Miss Susan some question about how to get a job in the Tourism Centre. So we are open seven days a week. So tourists come here because we are the Information Centre. So most people will make this their first stop. Where do you get the information pages? We have brochures. So all these brochures around here represent different tour companies, car companies, a special uh, training program which does go over a month and over that month you also get to do some free tours. To find out why tourists 
and visitors come to see them when they arrive in Alice Springs. We learned a lot about tourism in Northern Territory and the work that Miss Susan and her team do to help people enjoy their stay with us. Back in class we are creating a PowerPoint to show new students and visitors who want to know about our community. Over the past two weeks, Yara held two separate cultural awareness programs for both male and female staff and students. The days looked over the importance of getting knowledge about our land, respecting ourselves and our culture, and being proud of our identity and where we are from. We were lucky enough to have Benedict Stephen, a traditional owner of Arunda land, and Braden Kanjira, who works for the Arunda Men program, to welcome us from all across See, the for six Northern years Territory. At Yura, back in '85, and I wish you guys can keep turning on so you finish your year of school as well. You've got a big responsibility by looking after your country. Education is really, really good. We did not what you have got now. The ladies were honored to have Auntie Pat Ansel and Auntie Amelia Turner to share their knowledge with them. <laughs> Benedict and Braden touched base on skin names and each student spoke out and told everyone where they are from, their skin name and what language group they speak. Then we went on a tour of local ceremonial sites like Kayamba Conservation Reserve. Lastly, we gathered at Hensack Hill and Benedict explained the dreaming of McDonald Range and told us stories about other tribes coming into Alice Springs. This week in a quick look, we enjoyed our weekend disco. things with woods. Went out with contact and played wheelchairs basketball. Academy held the award one <laughs> Patient again in our program. This girl, you know, she's a little pocket rocket. Um, she gives a hundred percent. That's Danielle Campbell. One of our seven, seven, eight classes enjoyed outdoors learning. Some of our seniors visited Lutheran Community Care. Our dance elected groups danced in the chapel worship. We enjoyed different stuff preaching and this week Miss Molly shared a message with us. So remember with Jesus' help we can share these gifts with each other and that's what we need to strive for every single day. For love, joy, peace, patience, 
kindness, gentleness, faithfulness, goodness, and self-control. Devin and Ricardi are helping save wildlife around our airport. Hey, many do you reckon? Four. The NTE Minister for Education, the Honourable Selena Uribo and MLA Chancy Peach spent time with our ladies. Because Selena is, before she went into politics, she's a school teacher. Right, so I used to be in a classroom and I worked with um, secondary students. I didn't do the little ones, so I, I like working with young people. So I worked with, firstly I worked with grade 10s, 11s and 12s and then I moved to Numbwa in my mother's community on South East Arnhem then, over near, across the water from Groot and um, I taught seniors there, 10, 11s and 12s and then we became an all secondary class so I had grade 8s, 9s, 10s and 11s. And our fellas sang happy birthday to some house parents. Thank you for joining us. We are taking a break and we'll be back Friday, 3rd May. With a trip out to the airport to see Misha working towards becoming a pilot. Bye! Bye.